All right, joining us right now in CBS Sports HQ, Devontae White, we got a champion with us here from the Georgia Bulldogs. What's it like for you to be back in India, a place that was pretty good for you guys? Actually, man, I'm just reckon, I'm just realizing, like, hey, man, I, hey, I got a national champion in the stadium, so I'm definitely. <laughs> confident about going in, you know what I'm saying, performing well now. Good karma, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's a great start to, to the combine for you because it wasn't that long ago that you guys were here dominating. And here's the thing about watching Georgia defense is you go there, there, like go down the line, all yes, 11 guys. Yes, and sir. At some point in time, you guys are going to be in the NFL sooner for some rather than later. Just talk to me more generally about you, uh, about Jordan Davis, uh, about the guys on, on that on that front four and how dominant they were. And then, oh, by the way, we got Quay, we got Channing, yeah, we got Nicole right behind right. them. So just tell me about those guys before I talk specifically about you. Man, we are um, all veterans, you know what I'm saying? We are brothers, like real brothers. Like, we know, all know each other, mom, dad, brothers, sisters. We know our history. Um, and we all connect very well. And it's just like after every practice or a game, we always together. So yep. regardless of anything, we're together talking about football, talking about how we can better, or just having fun playing card games or anything like that, just to find a way to bond with each other. And it showed up. I mean, yes, it, it showed up each and every. It also helps that you guys are extremely athletic, strong, yes, fast, <laughs> yes, and run, and everything else. Yes, sir. It, it's, it's interesting because I don't think people understand this dynamic of the whole thing you guys had going on at Georgia. Mm -hmm. You've already played let's say, in a pro-style defense in a pro way. Because sure. sometimes guys like yourself are just the guy on an entire defense. Right. But you have multiple guys. Multiple. And when you go to the pros, <laughs> it's multiple guys. Right. So how much playing at Georgia kind of helped prepare you for this opportunity to go to the NFL? Like, I, man, like George Pickens said, and he's, you know, we had an interview, like, Kirby did a great job, you know what I'm saying, getting us prepared. Coach Scott, he definitely did a great job. And, like, just playing with the guys, like like you said, Jordan Davis, people that's already got, like, you know what I'm saying, talent like NFL players or, you know what I'm saying, just playing around, they just give you a great look of how, what you're going to go into in the next league. And I definitely, like, I definitely appreciate it. And I'm happy that, like, I played with the guys because now I feel comfortable with going to the, like, next level. Everyone talks about, let's say, one aspect of your skill set, mm -hmm. and you probably hear it all and all, all the time, right? Yeah. But what's one thing you say, man, they never talk about this. I'm dope at this. What's one of the more underrated aspects about your game? Uh, I think, um, I guess, causing havoc, like getting the ball out. So that's one thing I'd be like, a defensive lineman, you, you, you know they just get tackles, but when you get the ball out, it's different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you just make, that's making plays. That's just doing something different. You guys, I mean, you guys made so many plays, it felt like sometimes you're on offense. That's how <laughs> good you guys were. <laughs> so uh, we work with Scott Pioli here. He said he talks to you guys sometimes in the, in the fall. And he told me before the Senior Bowl, he said, keep an eye on, on, on Senior Bowl for, on Devontae White. Yes, and we just had Travis Jones up here, who's also extremely quick, but how is it you at that size, how do you have that quickness? Now, clearly, you, you're God-given talent, but is yeah. this something that you've learned through high school and college, how you have to work because of your teammates, you guys push each other, or is it just Devontae White going out there, I'm taking over, and there's very few answers that these offensive linemen are going to have for me? I can say go both ways. We definitely push each other a lot, you know what I'm saying? That definitely plays a big part in it. But definitely just me, you know what I'm saying, just knowing myself and knowing my body and how well I know I can move. So that's one thing. Like, I know I can move. Faster than what you know, what I'm saying I, the, the like, offensive linemen know it too is a yeah, problem. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> definitely, like we always push each other in practice, though, man. Me, Jordan, Trey, Quay, you know, what I'm saying Channy, on uh, the Kobe. It's, it's all like brothers. You can't you can't take nothing personal with them. They, they trying to push you and make you right. better. Let me ask you this: uh, Like we said, that, that team is a national championship team. So many good players on both sides of the ball. Going into a program like that and seeing those guys every day. But sometimes I like to ask the wide receivers who's the toughest cornerback, and sometimes I'll say my teammates. That would, I imagine, be the case for you. So talk about Jamari Sawyer, who we talked to a couple days ago, played left tackle. Before that, he's played right tackle inside. He said he might even play center, and he was open yeah. to that. How important uh, was he being on the offensive line, Schaefer as well, in terms of making you guys better on the front four? They, they played a big part. They both played on the left side. Jamari played center, guard, and tackle, and, like, he's very versatile. But just playing with them two and, like, watching them lead their group, Jamari and um Jamari and um uh, Schaefer. Schaefer, yeah. yeah. Jamari Schaefer, just watching them and like watching them motivate them and like watching them lead them on. And like in practices, you just watch them running down the field. Like you never seen the offensive line run ten yards down the field, <laughs> right. like they go block. So that's one thing I really appreciate with them. Like they definitely got me and JD right before games and everything. So I definitely I think I think they're gonna be great in the league. Yeah, too. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, you trying to get on offense in the time? Because you know how this goes. Like, everybody just touch the ball a little bit. Yeah, I try to be running back, but they gave it to my boy Jordan Davis. So I, I, just, I let him have his shot. <laughs>
<laughs> Before we let you go, I want to ask you, obviously, and circle back to what we talked about. You guys get over the hump and win the national championship. What was it like to, and wasn't Georgia's first one, but it was the first one in a long time to be able to get over that hump and then to beat Bama to do it? Yes, sir. Uh, repeat that question. I couldn't hear you. What was it like to, to, to be a part of that team, to, to be able to get over the hump, to be able to oh. win a first natty for the first time in a long time and then so, do it against Bama, you know? I mean, it's a dream come true. It took 41 years, man. And just knowing you're you're the you're the um you're the guys, your team, you did it. It's it's amazing. Like I never, I ain't gonna say I never thought we would do it, but like I knew we had to do a little extra to get what we wanted. And I could see after we lost the game, the SEC championship, I seen everybody's faces. And the next day at practice, I could see how serious things was from there. And once I seen that, I said, ain't no more stopping this once you get to this playoff. Was yeah. there anyone other than Alabama you would have rather played in that final? Oh, uh, no. Nah, it nah, didn't yeah. matter. It it payback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. D-Dub, certainly appreciate it, man. Enjoy appreciate it. it. No problem. Thank you. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.